Well, hello again, YouTube. It's Mr. Analytical here, and today we've got a very exciting box that's just arrived. So yesterday was the pre-order shipping date for the new Samsung Gear Sport. So this should be it in the box. So it comes in the the old familiar round box and there's a little tear tab here at the side you can just rip from one side to the other. How handy is that? No knife needed. And we've got a lovely blue interior. And another blue flap. Another blue flap. So here we go. So we've got a little packing list just showing what comes in the box. So we've got the headset and the gear watch, one of each. So let's have a look. So the gear sport and the Uflex headphones. That's quite a chunky box for some headphones. Okay. So now that we've got the box out of the way, nice and blue as it was, let's have a better look at what was in the box. So I'm assuming you guys were not really that interested in the Uflex headphones. I'm sure they're very nice and all the rest, but really what we want to see is the gear sport itself. So let's have a bit of a look at the outer case, the presentation. So we've got a little carry handle here. If you didn't want to put it in a bag, you can walk around town with it <laughs> by the handle. Okay, so we've got on the back, we have your watch, your way, your health. And with this logo that you'd have seen in the gear adverts for the sport if you had uh, had a look at any of those. And you'll see down at the bottom here, we've got this bit of text there. Use with a smartphone running Android 4.4 or higher and RAM of 1.5 gigabyte and above. So that's pretty cool. So we've got on the side here we've got water resistant to 50 meters. So now let me get focused for you. Yeah, water resistant to 50 meters, advanced fitness tracking, and heart rate and GPS, and compatible with any 20 millimeter strap. And we've got smart notifications and apps on the side. On the bottom you can just see there it tells you about the color, black in this case and serial number and so on. So let's get it open and see how we go from there. So we've got our trusty, trusty Stanley knife. Let's just slid it open. Nice. So we've got a little Samsung logo in the center. And here we go, we've got the first look at what the watch looks like. So we've got a set of instructions on the side here. And we've got the watch itself and another little flap and another little bag. We've got a charger which we'll all be familiar with. Those of you who have the Gear S3 you can see a little indent in it here. And that'll be for the heart rate sensor to fit in this little recess. And we've got the usual USB plug at the back of that. Uh, so here we have a spur strap. So the same as with the Gear S3, you'll get a short strap and a long strap depending on the size of your wrist. So I can't remember now which size I use. I think it's the longer one that I'm using. So typically if you're a male, maybe you'll probably need this longer strap that comes fitted on the watch. Or if you're a female or someone with smaller wrists, you'll see here this one. Uh, it says basically that it's a small size, if we can zoom in here. You can see there it says 20 at the top, indicating the 20 millimeter band, and then S for small. And it just says gear sport underneath. So a nice silicon finish on the straps. And let's say that's a close look at the, the charger. 
Samsung on the back. And let's see what's in this little bag. I'll just zoom out of it for you. So we have here now a little power plug and this is pretty much exactly the same as was on the, the Gear S3. So that goes into the back of your little charging station. And then you can set your watch on there for charging. So that looks like everything that's in the box. I have to have a look at the watch itself now, which is the main item. Let's just make sure there's nothing else hidden in here. So it's packed in a little foam band. And you can see this strap is definitely longer. So let's have a look. Let's open it up. So there it is. Let me see, get the camera on it. There's a gear sport. So that's it. And let's compare it to uh, the gear S3. So this is it now compared to the gear S3. You can see what we're looking at now. You can see it is smaller. Let's look at it directly above. So you can see the difference in the size there. The straps will be much the same length. Slightly longer than the gear S3. Take a look in at the sides. You've got the Gear S3 and the Gear Sport. So let's try and get a side view to compare the, the height. So you can see that the Gear S3 is ever so slightly taller, very little in it. Comparing them from the back then. You can see they both have the same sort of heart rate sensor layout here. But that the gear sport has a little bump. Which just lets it better contact, it's supposed to be better contact with your wrist. So we've got the same bezel that we had on the, the gear S3. And if you can hear little clicks as it moves or clicks as it moves around there. So let's have a look at the side. On the side you've got a little microphone port and a home button and a back button. You can see the, the grippy grooves on the side of the roller, the bezel. And the actual bezel itself is smooth. It's not the patterned type that more rugged look that's on the frontier. So let's try it on the wrist now and see how we get on. So it really feels a lot finer. The strap's a lot finer than on the... Like look at the difference in the size of those two straps. On the Gear S3 it's quite big and chunky and even slightly thicker in depth. On the Gear Sport it's thinner Definitely a thinner strap, you can see there it's quite slim. So let's try it on the wrist. You can see even the holes in the strap are smaller. They're probably about half the size. So let's get it on the wrist. And let's have a look, let's see if we can power it on. Maybe there's no battery power, I'm not sure. Gear, Samsung Gear Sport, there we go. So this is the very first time I've powered it up, so this will let you guys see what happens when you turn it on. So Samsung Gear Sport, welcome we've got on the screen. So what I'm noticing here is that the buttons on the side just don't protrude just as much as on the the Gear S3. So we've got Language English United Kingdom, so we just press next here. Gear S 
Passport 393E. Download the Samsung Gear app on your phone from Galaxy App Play Store or App Store. So just hit the question mark, just gives us a bit more detail. If you want to use your gear without connecting to your phone, tap here. But let's go ahead and, and connect the phone and see how we get on. So I'll just bring my phone in to the shot and have a look. So we'll just go to the usual gear gear app on the phone. Let's see connect and it turns on the Bluetooth. Now if you already have uh, a Gear S3 like myself, we'll just have to uh, add an additional gear to the phone. So let me see how you do that. If you hit the top three buttons when you're in the Gear S3 app, you'll see the three little dots at the top. So if you press on there and select connect new gear. So we press connect new gear. And you can see that we've got the Gear S3 that's been paired before. You'll see it's automatically detected the Gear Sport 393E. So you just press on that. And it says let's pair up. And I've got a vibrating location on my watch. And I've got a pass key on the phone. So of course those match. So I just hit my, this watch is vibrating at the moment. So we just press the tick. And then it says check your phone to complete setup. We go back to the phone. And we hit OK. Preparing to connect. Pairing underway and on the watch. It's just got the same screen. So now we've got the terms and conditions. And I'm going to connect, I'm happy with the end user license agreement, agree to share your location, agree to platform service, report diagnostics, marketing information. So I'm happy with mapping, I'm happy with finding my gear and hit next. So searching for backup data in your Samsung account, this may take a while. So I can hit skip there because I don't really want to put everything on that I have on my uh, gear S3 at the moment. So I'm just going to hit skip. Okay, so let's have a look at the watch itself now. Now that you be connected, so just press on the back button, which is the top button. The bottom button is your home button. That will bring you to your apps. So let's have a look and see how the menu works. And it's going to take us through a bit of a guide on that. So Let's go and it says go clockwise widgets will appear. So I turn this clockwise and you can see the widget came up there. Turn the other way and you're back to your watch face. So that's turn again. Here's where notifications are. That's turning to the left. So turn it to the left and this is where all my notifications will come up. And you can see there it says this is the back key. It'll take you back to the previous screen. So I'll press on the back key which is the top key of the two. And that's us back to the previous screen. And as I said already, here's the home key. And that shows you all the apps you have. So we press the home key. And this is us in the app screen. And it says almost there, swipe down. This shows settings and status info. So we swipe down. And this is quite different settings and status window to the previous. We'll have to explore that. Cover the screen with your palm and your screen will turn off. So you just basically put a palm on the top and it says that's it and then that would be it turning off so it says all done enjoy your gear so there we go it's the Samsung Gear Sport and it looks pretty good so this has just been a quick unboxing video and a quick bit of setup so I'll come back to you as soon as I can with another video which will show you a quick look at all the the other screens so you know it's just really the same idea as on the previous where we have a series of widgets which we swipe across and notifications if you swipe to the left and if we swipe down from the top we've got all our uh, connection settings
so that's all I'll do in this video guys. I'm going to work straight away on getting uh, a walk through the menus and the different functionality of the watch and I'll be right back with that. So be sure to subscribe and comment below when your initial impressions on the Gear Sport. And initial impressions I have are it's pretty nice. It's a nice feeling on the wrist. You know, it's quite light and, and smaller. Maybe it gives you more freedom of movement on your wrist. The buckle is nice and comfortable. And the menu looks pretty similar to the Gear S3. But let's have a deeper look in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.